Hello from Serena. I recently implemented Wi-Fi from scratch. For my OS called Serena. It was a long journey. Let's go back to the start. I've just been up all night trying to build, tr trying to build and load successfully a Linux kernel driver for the Wi-Fi chip. I tried everything. I spent 30 to 40 hours this weekend swimming in the sewer that is open source software Linux ecosystem. It's horrible. But I, I think I think I've solved it, solved it just before my Monday normal work starts. It's technically Tuesday. I've gone through a lot of hurt, more distros. Here we have the, the board thing that goes in the Serenum and has the Wi-Fi chip on it. So I managed to get Arch Linux set up and I managed to compile a version of a driver. In order to be more productive, I decided I would switch countries. Here you can see me in the airport and now in a different country. It's a uh, creative hacker loss. Yeah, Box 2D was a disaster because mainly because it was OOP. And uh, the main performance bottleneck was linked list traversal. There we go. Don't use Box 2D. Directly from Happen Lots developer. Currently working on, I, I've uh, gotten basic communication with the SD IO Wi Fi device working. That's good. Yeah, probably this is going to take forever more still. My first thing, the next step, which meant was meant to be the first step, but got delayed because of my, apparently it was more complicated than I thought. My next thing I want to do is once I initialize the device, I want to read from the EEPROM on there. I'm probably not going to do anything with the data, but it's the uh, code I'm reverse engineering reads from the EEPROM. So I want to read also, I want to also read the contents of the EEPROM and then I can make sure that things work, right? If I get the same data, that means we're on a good track. I can continue to emulate the things that come after that. We are, I've cooked, look at that. We're reading the eFuse content. This took several more days of work, but you see here, here we have the, my logged output from my Linux thing I'm copying. And here we have the eFuse. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. You know, I, I think Linux interprets the information in here. I have no such intention, but this is like a milestone on the hike that marks the end of the easy part. And now, we go to the other 75% of the hike, which will be the difficult part. I'm correctly loading the firmware. I'm correctly reading the eFuse, then loading the firmware you can see there. Then reading this hidden Mac thing. thing about, like once you're done showing, you should show yourself because it's like better branding. Mm. You heard that, it's better branding. <laughs> Philip Trudeau says so. My torment is soon over. Now that I've successfully initialized the Wi-Fi chip, I can start operating the Wi-Fi chip. And then I can start talking to this thing. This is a TP-Link guy. It, I, it's supposed to not be that much more required to have these two like connect. But 
I may be wrong. We'll see. What followed was three brutal months of work, of making inch by inch progress, getting a little bit further, with the uncertainty of whether or not it would work. The end result is this file. You know, I'm obviously here in the future. We have this huge file, all of this. I built this up slowly but surely over a long time adding all this information and all of this is just to init the device the init is this crazy long process eventually i got to doing actual functionality and even then it was uh, quite grueling now let's cut to an ad of me before we can finish the story. Did you know that most of my time between the previous release and this new release is not spent working on Serena? That's because I have a job. I don't want to have a job. I want Serena to be my job. That can only happen if some of you go to taberna.shop and hit that purchase button so that I can work on Serena for more hours in my day. That would really make me happy. What are these? These are Victory Donuts, which I have bought. Why have I bought Victory Donuts? Well, I just solved a bug that's been plaguing me on the Wi-Fi for, you know, many days now, probably about a week. I've spent at my wit's end every day trying to figure out this bug. Okay, the bug is, we'll, we'll put the code on screen here so you can see it. The bug is that in the initialization of the Wi-Fi chip, the Linux driver, which I am lopping and copying off of, has these two checks, the top check and the bottom check here. Now, I had to add this third check in the middle. And the reason is because there's a bug in this Linux code that I'm copying that is not triggered because the Linux code, or just Linux in general, boots so slowly that this issue goes undetected. Okay. Serenum, I'm running through this, this, uh, I'm running through this code really quickly and it's triggering this bug. What is the bug? The bug is that everything boots up fine, Wi-Fi chip is running, everything looks perfect and runs smoothly, just like normal, with one exception, that packets or Wi-Fi frames, 802.11 frames, mysteriously fail to transmit. They don't fa fail overtly. There's no like, oh, fail to send, bit that gets set as would normally happen. No, it's a complete silent failure. So I've been debugging for, you know, a week, this silent failure. And eventually I found it. And that's why I get to eat victory donuts. Shortly after me finding this bug uh, was when we had this great moment in the Discord where I was able to connect to the Discord from Serenum and, uh, you know, reveal that to everybody that I had added support for Wi-Fi to the device. If you um, are not in the Discord, I implore you, please join. Um, we post occasionally there, so you won't get spammed. Anyway, um, I did the thing. You know, now I move on to work on other parts of Serena. We'll circle back to Wi-Fi and internet stuff more generally at some later date. And um, if you have some money and want a Serena, go to taberna.shop. You can buy one. That would make me very happy. <laughs>